Hello. Today we're going to show you how to install Video Central Lite onto your laptop. There are two versions of this software, one for pre-Windows 7 and one for after Windows 7. The one I'm going to install is for after Windows 7. If you install the wrong one you'll find that the database won't show on the later versions of Windows. Unzip your software and navigate to where you've unzipped it to and we're going to click on setup. It will ask you if you don't want to install the program and it will start a setup wizard to start to install it. I would normally just accept all its default values but here you can change where it installs to if you want by using the browse and navigating to an alternate folder where it's going to create its database folder and this bit here I'm going to set this up as a user to use the Video Central Lite, so I'm not going to receive alarms. This means that I will not have access to the installer menu. If we click on Next, it will check your network adapters that you've got on your computer, just to confirm the details that you've already agreed to, where it's going to be installed, your database and your network, and click on Finish. The install should only take a few minutes. That's that message has come up because I'm installing it on Windows 8.1. It's actually designed for Windows 7, but it works perfectly fine for me. And then it will ask you to restart your computer. I've already got it installed, so I'm going to click No. But I'd recommend that you press Yes, as long as you've saved everything else that you've already got on your computer before you do. And then on your desktop, there will be an Ad Pro icon for you to start up. The program will start. Just accept the first couple of messages that it gives you. And we'll just clear down that alarm. Right, now you can see there we've actually got your program is actually running on the computer. When you program your details in, which is in a different video, what you'll be able to do now is you'll connect to site and just to confirm that the installation is correct, if we click on connection, you should only have a couple of options that's actually black, the rest of it will be greyed out, that just shows as we click no on that option earlier that you have installed the user version of the software so that you can't get into the install menus and change anything. When you need to exit, we click on file, click on exit, and the software finishes. Thanks. Bye.